the longest running film festivals in New Jersey will be virtual this year. News 12 New Jersey's John Bathke with how the movies will be coming to audiences at home and his continuing coverage of the pandemic's impact on entertainment. The pandemic put this dance film into motion. We're in saran wrap, like it's not something that you're gonna see on the street, but it's this feeling of being like trapped and like maybe it's just trapped behind a mask. Sisters Ariel and Charlie Santagato are New Jersey based dancers and choreographers who produced this experimental five minute film called Deescatology, shot early in the pandemic in a deserted parking deck. Feels like the world has ended with COVID and everything closed. And then there's this idea of coming back together into this new normal. Theirs is one of a hundred short films that will begin virtual screenings on Saturday in the Thomas Edison Film Festival. There's not a, a spot on Netflix for experimental work, um, but we give voice to those filmmakers because the work is really extraordinary and important. Jane Stewerwald is the festival's executive director and says its commitment to short experimental work seldom seen elsewhere makes it stand out. Now in its 40th year, the festival has a new name, formerly called the Black Mariah Festival, named after Thomas Edison's film production studio of the 1890s in West Orange, where the earliest films were made. While based in Hoboken, the festival travels nationally, but not this year. With the pandemic leaving movie theaters with limited capacity, the short films will instead come to the audience at home. John Bathke, News 12. New Jersey. Very creative. The movies will be streamed free of charge on the festival's website along with special programming.